Hey, Dante, having fun dancing in the corner over there? Hey, maybe you gotta get back on stage. <laughs> hey, Vinny Klaus here, welcome back for more. Let's play Shantae, Risky's Revenge. Last time, we made coffee. Yeah, Reese, that's it. We seriously just made coffee. <laughs> Alright, in this episode, we're gonna be taking the coffee over to the one house. What do you gotta say? I'm dressed as the pirate lady for dead, but I'm not allowed to say such things. Strange how you're not able to bring up a fight that I have to do. Or I'm dressed as a pirate for some reason, okay? <laughs> Who can the dark manifest to say Ammo Town? Is it a joke? I guess you didn't get the memo that the town was bought out. Yeah. I don't know if a new mayor. I guess this dance costume's goodbye. Uh, not necessarily. It's kind of presumptuous if you say that he's against dance costumes. Uh, but then again, I'm talking way too early. We'll see in the future. When I say future, I mean Pirate's Curse. <laughs> Short bell is just like, get away from me. You know what? Die! Yes! Die! <laughs> Face around on my stomp! Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha ha! Yeah, this is going. This map is gone so you can access the Murray Cliff. Murray Cliff's not really anything. Oh, that's not so pretty straightforward. It's got a bunch of mermaids here. Okay, his draw is that it'll shoot bubbles from its um, trident that you got in this guy here. And... Yeah, I'm not doing a very good job dodging this. Okay, you know what? This guy. This time, thank you. All right. Ugh. I can also. Uh, I need to heal. I need to heal. Now, this is, this is a great start of the episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it can actually hurt you with the um parts that I'll that I'll shoot up. The thing is, even if it, it, even if it really still hurts, not really all that hard to dodge. It's supposed to be you um just. Yeah, right in front of my mouth, but does so. Bad times are just a number of ads, really, for your parts. And even on those grounds, it's not that tough. Yeah, it's kind of strange that hearts can actually hurt you. Given that hearts are supposed to be just some love or some, 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 some kind of like that. Great. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of straightforward area here. We got this. I'll have two spreads of the deck dials. Case in point, the um, blue um, scarecrow. <laughs> okay. Now, there are plenty of puzzles here, but none of them are accessible to you at the moment. Also, he has a Hemoheron's Lair. Completely sealed up. No balls away of accessing it, of course. Okay. Speaking of guide tools, actually, um, I do want to acknowledge the um, one magic jam that I couldn't. I, I could have gotten in Palate. But it's kind of out of the way, so that's why I didn't go for it right there. There. Good. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you. Anyway, this game for too long. I'm taking the damage up to the right. Also, yeah. I, I turn into an elephant. <laughs> Monkey bullet. Come on, you son of a head. Yeah. You actually outright needed to cross this gap. Gah! Cross this chasm. Excuse me. Yeah, there's one instance of that. I think the only instance of it being required is something I know. You have. There's just a long stretch of just bats and such. If you have the um, fireball equipped, this is no problem to deal with bats because you can shoot them in a wide. <laughs> you can shoot them off in the distance. And it's as, um, these bats are typically only aggro on you if you get close to them. So, you switch to the fireball, you can have no problem dealing with them. Like... Not like that! Please! That's just about the worst thing you can do with bats in this area. Go, you went up before I take a mermaid. Okay. The, um, second. Actually, speaking of mermaids, actually, this is something I don't get. The thundercloud! Well it, well, it is effective on the mermaid, but not when they're submerged into a puddle. I don't get it at all. It doesn't really make any sense. You 
seriously, water, if anything, water conducts electricity, so even then, you would think that the um, Thundercloud would be highly effective against them, but I'm going to re release it right here. Or I don't even get to demonstrate that, sure. <laughs> I can't take all these fences at least. Not necessary, I know. I just I, I greedy. I greedy, I just want my money. I greedy. Right, here we go. <laughs> or I can still time it pretty badly. I still I don't get it. Here, run. Uh, that, that, that was a pretty bad thing, obvious. Why am I even worried about the fences at all? Just come on and go fight it. That's all it is to it. Yeah, you know, we should be close to the end of this. Yeah, I can see a couple bats here. Yeah, I think we are at the end of this. And we are! I really like to look at this area too. It's like it's got palm trees here. We got really nice relaxing music. Hey, Grin Yard, but a bunch of water. This would be a really good vacation spot, actually. <laughs> I know this is me, but. Yeah, areas like this is so pretty. I, tropical areas like this are so pretty. I, mean. <laughs> I like how I said that. Are so pretty. I got tired, Mickey! Right here, he has a butt house. You got your coffee. Look who's back. I'm sure you keep your end of the deal. Whatever. Here's your lousy drink. A latte? That's a cheeks drink. All you were opposed egg, anyway. So at least he'll try to scab. It smells wonderful. You can't tell where the foam ends and where the scrambled eggs begin. Ah, no. Yeah, I had that. Anyway, here's the ticket to getting into Hitmo Baron's joint. You got... C4! No, plastic is explosive. <laughs> oh boy, it's a blob. What am I supposed to do? Scold my way in! <laughs> it ain't clay. There's enough plastic explosive to plastic. So I'm gonna be doored next week. What do you know? Is it in there? I don't even know what that is. Fair enough, you did think it was a blob of clay. Stick this wad to the hypno bear to the baron's door. Hit it with an electrical spark and stand back for the fireworks. Is that better or work? Um yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hey, on my way back to the hypno baron's lair, there is actually something I do want to clarify, and I do want to thank someone on me for supporting this out. Someone by the name of Gilstorm. It's in regards to the um, import room that I spoke of in the, in the first episode. Yeah, I know my research couldn't find anything on that. Well, that's because in the Charges Cut version, which is the version I'm playing here, is the version I mainly prefer, or the um, the Cyro version, it actually does nothing. No joke. Import room is absolutely useless. But, I guess I can see kind of why it still exists. But, turns out, if you, if you have the DSi version, which I've gone over why for this one over the DSi version, you actually do own other titles from uh, Way Forward. Such as Mighty Flip Chance and Mighty Milky Way. You can not not only just by owning those games, you get some extra gems in the process, but you also um gotta complete six certain other criteria. And that's such as say for example Anyway. Across this criteria, you can you can potentially get 
over 1200 gems and this applies to any game file so right off the bat you can have the maximized amount of gems but be thankful if you if, if you a are playing the DSi version and you, you can win all this fresh area because you can very easily just have most of the stuff in the shop just no effort at all provided you have the magic gem money is not very scarce in DSi version. That, that's something I will say superior to the Wii U version, PS4 version, what have you. Basically, it's the surface cut version, version in general. But yeah, I, do want to, I did want to make that amendment here real quick. You. That's kind of what I mean. Like, the hearts are not hard to avoid at all. Whatever what you do, be it um, standing or jerking in front of them, or just jump over them, they're not hard. Well, anyway, we made it back here to the Hypno Baron's digs. You dig, right? <laughs> this is the place, yes. We're, we're gonna wanna stick the explosives here. Okay, bolt of electricity. What you do? You are right, need um, electricity. By lighting our fire. Nothing. It counts as a solid object when you hit it with fire for some reason, but you can just walk right past it. Just throw this right here. Boom! Ha! <laughs> hey, it didn't blow the door into next week. All I did was open it. Freaking liar, I want my money back! <laughs> oh, jokes on the side. I'm gonna hit no Baron Slabber. This is definitely an interesting dungeon. The gimmick here are these eyeball switches. Depending on which direction the eyeballs that people is actually facing, will determine what different rooms you get to go to. In this case, you want to get to face downwards. Reason for that being is, oh, you actually have something very important if you follow the hidden path here around the wall. And kill Pottery because it's the worst enemy ever! Yes, the murder of Pottery has not stopped. Alright, let's just drop down here. You got the key! First the many, actually. I do love that when I have like a bunch of statues here that kind of look like they're holding up the ceiling. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Also, something I didn't neglect to mention that you can climb walls faster than jumping. Also, oh! Yeah, you can't actually get this yet. Monkey jump, our, our monkey bullet just travels too far in order for us to actually land there. But you do want to keep that in mind. That dirt just is actually very important. Now it's going to start to eat some stones. And, and through here. Alright, now I'm going to show you real quick if, if it, if the people facing to the right. That's where you would have ended up. As I point that out. Also, okay, yeah. Have that facing up. I, I do like this um, a lot, actually. This is my favorite idea for like any dungeon hand sound. Like, you can alter different rooms you can go to depending on which direction the people is facing. I do like that. Uh, a lot. This, this is a fairly complex dungeon. Not complex, actually. Um, Hey, I'm ignoring the elephant in the room. Skeletons. These are some really strong enemies. You kill them, you don't really kill them. Yeah, these are already dead. They do is reform into their grave. To kill them for good. Hey, come on. I can use the make up right. There we go. This is at the very least. Um, okay. I actually think it's better to have the last open up there. I don't think I have any um, of them. Mega Puff, personally.
because of that. Also, um, yeah, if you don't take the graves, they will, they will rise. Yeah, they don't stay down unless you take the grave. Um, yeah, that makes any sense, but whatever. Look at these guys! These wizard-ish type enemies. They can be kind of annoying unless you're, con unless you're constantly moving around. They all just ready their spell, and when they do, they'll summon lightning directly above you. So keep on moving if it's about to do that. And these guys aren't really all that big of a problem. He says as he gets hit by lightning. Okay, that's a really bad thundercloud use. I don't know what it is with me and terrible luck with some thundercloud. Kind of annoying enemies to deal with. But if you know exactly how to deal with them, I guess they're there that bad. If you have, if you have maxed out um, Sacred Cream by this point, you can actually kill them with just your hair before they can even able and before they can even be able to get off that attack in the first place. Same goes with the um, Mega Pike Ball, which is something I've been having a lot of fun with mainly. Make a bike in this game is actually pretty OP, especially in magic mode. But it is this stuff that is overpowered, you can easily just get carried with it and have kind of attacked up on you. So you do want to be careful. Also another area of highly ah, if I can talk. Another area is highly favoring the monkey. I swear this game is biased towards monkeys. And that's of course. Okay, get my turn right. Okay. While going up here, it is in your best interest to take on these skeletons, because otherwise you're gonna have a pretty rough time of climbing up climbing up this portion of the um, of the labyrinth, basically. It's just a tower kind of looking structure-ish with a bunch of spikes. Kinda remind me of the um well, this particular segment here right, kind of reminds me of um, a certain in dungeon in uh, Pirate's Curse that I won't uh, spoil for those of you who haven't seen that yet. Okay, come on, can I get this place? Yeah, awesome, not bad. Oh, snap! Uh. Okay, good thing I caught that. You had it as well. Oh my god. Okay. Taking these okay, taking these skeletons out just okay. ah, taking these skeletons out so doesn't have to do anything. But it does make your life incredibly easier when you go into this area. I believe what you want is to close both these eyes. In doing so, go to the right. You have a nice, easy money spot. Right. Here. It's pretty useful, actually, if you're trying to get, like, s like some items in the first cut version. Definitely good to keep this in mind. Okay. So, like, 9 or 10, I believe that's a good, like, maybe, you know, 125 gems right there. Not bad. Okay, now, leave. Uh, oh, actually, okay. Uh, this... This is a dungeon that kind of not. Uh, like, this is a dungeon I tend to get lost a little bit from time to time because, because of how much of a. Oh! Actually, I think we got the. Yeah, we got the right ring. See this um, turret kind of thing? I believe that's the mark that you got the right ring. Yeti! Yes. Oh my god, I'm back already! Well, I think that's the first time ever! that I've confused the X and the Y button, so I'm gonna just ram this wall in rage! Yeah, I need a key. This is kind of what I mean. Like, this is kind of, this is the engine I kind of remember the least. 
Okay. Both eyes, both eyes are open, I believe that's what we want. Okay. Just... Actually, no, we don't. Uh, if you go to the monkey bowl, you do not eat that platform at all. And what's gonna monkey bullet our ray across here and laugh with those two new platforms because your purpose is useless. Also, yeah, can't do anything here. Yeah. As many times I play this, um, I can admit it, but I still just kind of get turned around in the wrong way. I think the, all the, all the misdirections I've taken in this dungeon currently. Is a good testament to that. Okay, skeletons here. Okay, just make a make a ah make a pipe for these guys. Fortunately, um, you can't have uh, your transformation ability and make a pipe ball going at the same time. Can't be that overpowered, no. Okay. Oh, it's a good thing we got that assembly right now. Before taking out the skeletons, yeah, you need to actually just take them down. You can't go and all this stuff in the game. Yeah, lame. I was hoping I could do that and just mock these skeletons even further. Oh, the fact that the skeletons really aren't the weakest enemy in any RPG ever. After that, that also belongs to the bats. I mean, I've heard it. I've heard it. Or, yeah. I've had someone on Twitch actually argue that it's actually the slime and skeletons that are the worst that we've seen in the game ever. I got one argument, I got one game example to review that. That is Final Fantasy VIII. A skeleton in the name of Ribbon can actually cast death. Yeah, try telling me that. Skeletons are the weakest enemy in the RPG ever now, but if only that up. <laughs> okay, I think I better be in the serious side and use a potion here because, yeah, the skeletons here can actually cause one of the half hearts damage. Even though there aren't any, we're still found if why don't you at least few. Okay, so now that we got the key, now we need to close both these eyes and proceed onward from this point. I don't believe this game is here, but I'm going to check. Nope, I didn't think so. Yeah, I just wanted to be absolutely sure, because there's that one area back in the dungeon pass that I'd love to mention. Ooh, you're getting well with the cover. Okay, someone's really favoring the monkey. Uh, and Melbaron, this one for me to you. I think you got too much of an uh, obsession with monkeys. That's why we need the monkey form in this area. Uh, we don't necessarily need it, but it definitely helps us quite a bit. And yeah, since we got a save man, I think we're clear to end things off here, right? So, next time on Let's Play Shantae Risky's Revenge, we'll be continuing through the Hypno Baron's lair. And, well, confront the Hypno Baron himself and collect our last magic seal. See you guys then. Also, Purple Rocks. Just saying, Rebel's awesome.